Hello, so welcome to this video on the arterial pressure waveform. So I'll start by discussing the components of the arterial pressure waveform. So firstly, we have here the systolic upstroke. Next, we have the systolic downstroke. Then here, we have the dichrotic notch. And here, we have the diastolic runoff. On the y-axis, we have pressure in millimetres of mercury. And on the x-axis, we have time in seconds. So now to discuss the arterial pressure waveform. So the arterial pressure waveform is a complex sine wave that is the summation of a series of simple sine waves of different amplitudes and frequencies. The fundamental frequency is equal to the heart rate. So this is equal to 60 beats per minute or one hertz. The system used to measure blood pressure should be able to respond to a frequency range from 0.5 to 40 hertz. The dichrotic notch represents changes in pressure because of vibrations caused by the closure of the aortic valve. The rate of rise of the systolic upstroke here relates to myocardial contractility. The position of the dichrotic notch on the downstroke reflects peripheral vascular resistance. And the downstroke slope here indicates resistance to outflow, for example if the patient was vasoconstricted. Stroke volume can be estimated by measuring the area from the beginning of the upstroke to the dichrotic notch. So this area here. The systolic time indicates the myocardial oxygen demand, whereas the diastolic time indicates the myocardial oxygen supply. And finally, mean blood pressure is the average blood pressure throughout the cycle. So the MAP would be equal to the diastolic blood pressure plus one third of the pulse pressure. The pulse pressure is the systolic blood pressure minus the diastolic blood pressure. And one last point to mention. This can cause some confusion, so I'm going to go over it now. The natural frequency is the frequency at which the monitoring system itself resonates and amplifies the signal by up to 20 to 40 percent. This determines the frequency response of the monitoring system. Therefore, the natural frequency should be at least 10 times the fundamental frequency. The natural frequency of the measuring system is much higher than the primary frequency of the arterial waveform, which is 1 to 2 hertz corresponding to a heart rate of 60 to 120 beats per minute. Thanks for watching.